everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another nail diy video yo this has easily become my favorite series on my channel today i'm going to be doing these milk bath inspired nails i remember seeing this all over pinterest this is where i found and i'm photo. actually going to be using a nail dual forms today you guys highly requested that i use dual forms on my next poly gel tutorial so that's what today's video is going to be all about um so if you guys are interested in watching how i get these nails then make sure you keep watching of course don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the fam and let's just get right into it so i was originally going to use my mccart nail extension gel in bright white and i was going to mix it with the clear poly gel that i have from rosalind but then i realized i have this opal poly gel from rosalind that's supposed to be a white but it's actually very transparent it's really more of a sheer white it's not as opaque as the mccart which is what i was actually going for because with the milk bath style nails it has to look very milky Kind of like you know you're taking a milk bath i mean that's the whole point so as you guys can see my mccart poly gel is way too opaque it's like really a solid white and in comparison to the rosalind poly gel it's just too too opaque so i ended up using just the rosalind poly gel which was good because i didn't have to mix anything i'm going in with my nail dehydrator from jellish this is the kit that i always use i'll have it linked down below some of you guys were saying that it's a bit on the pricey side but i mean i feel like it's worth it because you'll have it for months at a time like i still haven't repurchased this kit yet and i've had it for, i've had it for over six months now i'm gonna go in with a led uv bonder this is a primer so i'm gonna be using this um, i'm gonna skip the step of a base coat today the foundation and i'm just gonna use the primer because i want to see if i'm gonna have any lifting with these nails um, and I'm trying to also like cut down on steps. I'm not sure if it's necessary to use both, so I'm testing out. This is like my little experiment on whether or not I should be using foundation going forward. But I think the primer is really good. I've used it multiple times before, but I usually use it with the foundation. So you do have to cure it. I'm curing for 45 to 60 seconds. This is what my nails look like. And then I'm gonna bust open this pack of dual forms. I was. I wasn't nervous, but I was just like, I don't know what this is gonna turn out. Like, I was very unsure of the end result. They ended up coming out really good, but I was not very certain on how it was gonna come out. Um, showing you guys my little poly gel brush that has the spatula on one side, and then it has the brush on the other. And I'm going in with the clear poly gel from Roslyn first, and I'm doing a layer of that inside of the dual forms. These dual forms are from McCart. I purchased them off of Amazon. I have them linked down below. Everything that I use, if I can find a link for it, I will definitely 100% link it down below in the description box. Um, but I'm doing a very thin layer of the clear poly gel first. This is very important because this is going to allow you to buff the nails once they're done, like once you cure them. Because if you just have the flowers laying directly on the dual form and then you know you cure them and you take them off, when you go to file the nail, you'll be buffing away your little dried flowers and that's just not gonna work. So we have to have a layer of poly gel there. So for this finger, which is the pinky, I'm actually going in with a layer of the clear poly gel. Some of them I start off with a little bit of white as you guys will see later on in the video, but for I think for all of them actually, I still did a layer of clear just in case. So we're doing clear on all of the nails. This is the pack of dried flowers that I purchased. I believe I got these off of Amazon as well. Um, it came with two packs. So you have like some singular flowers and then you have like the ones that are really, really small. And then there are also some leaves in there as well. And these are real flowers. These are not like plastic, they're not paper. They're actual real dried flowers. So I'm going in, there's clear on this dual form, right? I'm going with a little bit of the white the opal from Roslyn and I'm not applying it to the entire dual form I'm just picking and choosing where I want to put it because I want the nail to be very layered in the way that the flowers are encapsulated I don't want all of the flowers to be at the surface I want some of them to look like they're under the water in a real milk bath you know they're kind of like floating around so the way that I'm layering the flowers is very important you don't have to do it the exact same way that I did it but you want to make sure that you don't just place all of the flowers 
at the top of the nail you want to have some you know layered underneath each other you can do a flower and then a layer of poly gel and then another petal or a leaf so I did a yellow flower and then I did a little piece of this leaf I was using my cuticle cutter to like cut some of the flowers up so I can just get like bits and pieces of them and not have like the whole thing and I just felt like it made it look so authentic when I did this, especially these really tiny little itty bitty white flowers. They were so pretty. Um, so I just cut those up and I'm just sticking them on there like so. I have some of the opal and I grabbed a bigger bead and now I'm just gonna encapsulate the whole thing and this is the pinky nail. And yeah, it was, it was like, it was more time consuming because you just have to like, be really precise with where you're laying them because you're doing an encapsulated nail and you have flowers in there and stuff but the technique of it is a lot simpler and easier so I feel like this is better for beginners so I understand why everybody was asking me to do a tutorial with this I still think I do prefer using a tip underneath just because I feel like I get a little bit more support because um, I'm always knocking my nails around and I'm always afraid that I'm gonna pop a nail off and with this It's just like straight poly gel on your fingernails So I'm curious to see how long they last but that was the pinky nail going in with the ring finger There's a layer of clear and I'm just sticking this really bright Green flower these flowers are so pretty like I was actually in awe at how vibrant they were I was like, what is this about like how did they do this? Um, I'm taking a little bit of that opal poly gel and I'm layering it right on top of that green flower like you guys are watching with me and yeah this is like I said I'm just choosing to layer my flowers and layer the, the petals and the leaves so that it really does look like a milk bath because everything wouldn't be towards the top like if you look at photos of milk baths maternity photos baby photo shoots you know all that stuff everything is like floating around in there so you want to make sure your nails replicate that same look and as far as the length of the nails I'm only going to the top of the last line on the dual form so the longest that I guess it could go you could go a little bit higher than the line but I just chose to use that line as a cutoff so I could know that all of my fingernails were the same length and I'm just cutting up this little flower with my cuticle cutters, like I said earlier. And I'm just gonna drop some of those flowers in there. I think you guys get the, the gist, the idea. There are some areas where I'm leaving the clear exposed and sticking the flowers there. And then I'm going to layer the opal poly gel on top so I can like just look really cute. It just looks so cute. And this was the first time that I've ever done anything like this. So, Trust me when I say I am not a professional, I'm not a professional nail technician or any of that. This is all just me like winging it and you guys can do it too. A lot of you guys have reached out to me in the past couple of weeks and said that you've started doing your own nails because you've been watching my videos and it makes me feel so good and so happy because I really do it for you guys. So thank you for supporting me, thank you for watching this video, thank you for giving it a thumbs up, leaving a sweet comment. You guys got this, we got this, we could do this, we could be doing our own nails, like, hello, nail shop who, nail shop where, I don't know her, what's that, a band? <laughs> no, but seriously, look at, this is just, this flower, this blue flower was like everything. So I'm, I placed the bead on top of the flower, right, and then I'm like applying pressure in certain areas, and then I stuck this pink flower on top and then I'm like taking the poly gel and I'm like partially covering that flower it's just it really is just like a a winging kind of situation but everything ended up coming out really good so I'm pleased I'm just gonna let you guys watch and if I have any more tips I will drop in to say that
Oh, also, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you definitely need to head over to Instagram and follow me because Instagram gets all the first looks at my nails. Like, every time I do a new set, I'm posting it all over my story because I'd be hella proud of myself, you know? So, make sure you're following me on Instagram. We just hit 15K, like, yesterday. We're about to hit 16, which is crazy. So, shout out to you guys. Love you tons. Instagram gang be up in here, you know? They be waiting on the tutorials because they see it first. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. Sweetie, honey, baby. Oh, I also wanted to mention that this time around, I'm using alcohol as my slip. I'm not using acetone. I only used acetone in my last video and probably the one before that because you guys were saying that you weren't able to find alcohol in in any of the stores because we were in a pandemic and people were buying alcohol as if it was literally like something that they could survive off of. I don't understand, but you guys couldn't find alcohol, so I was using acetone as my slip which does not break down poly gel, but then I got a bunch of people telling me, hey, why are you using acetone? Um, you should use alcohol, and I was like, I'm aware that that's a thing, but I was doing it because people asked for it, so like, yeah. Um, I'm gonna only use alcohol going forward. This is the last nail, my thumb, and I'm just placing some singular little petals in the nail and it's so cute. And then I'm gonna go in with my bead of opal and I'm just going to seal that bad boy in. This was like, watching it back, it's like really aesthetically pleasing. Does that make sense? Like the way it's just getting like pressed into the dual form. Okay, yay, now we're at the application. Okay, so I'm just pushing my cuticles back and I'm applying the dual form with the poly gel on the inside, of course. Nothing is cured yet, everything is still wet, okay? And when I'm applying it, I'm making sure that I'm not applying too much pressure to the nail. I want it to be on there and I want it to be secure, but if you apply too much pressure and you just squeeze the nail down, it will, the poly gel will ooze out on the sides, which is why I'm going in with my brush and a little bit of alcohol and I'm just making sure that it's not attached to my nail underneath, like you saw, and then I cured it for 60 seconds and I actually cured the underside for 30 seconds. So I did 60 seconds on top and then I flipped my fingers and I cured the underside for 30 seconds. And this is what the nails look like when you pop the little dual forms off. This was so cute. I was actually like super shocked how easy it came off too. I thought it was gonna be a little bit harder but they literally pop off like nothing. And you can actually reuse them because they don't get damaged. Like there's no poly gel on the inside and the dual form is completely intact. So you can actually reuse them, which is like really good affordable wise because you're not spending a ton of money on these dual forms like all the time, especially if you can reuse them. So I'm just doing my thumbnail. Same method, I'm making sure to apply it. I'm checking all sides of the nail and I'm making sure that the underside is not attached to my skin, like stuck onto my skin and if it is, I'm just going with my brush. I cured for 60 seconds on top, flipped my hand, cured 30 seconds underneath and I popped it off and look at the dual form. It's literally like perfect. I can just take a little alcohol and clean off whatever little dust there is, but they came out really good. Now it's time to shape, okay? We have to get these nails all the way together because they're looking crazy. Can you imagine if I just like walked out of the house with my nails like this without shaping them? Like, 
that's no we're not doing that so go in with your nail file go in with your buffer i didn't use an electronic e-file nothing i just used my nail file and my buffer and i shaped my nails up really nice and square and sharp they could literally cut someone i love it um and then i'm gonna brush the dust away voila and then we're gonna go in with a clear top coat this is the top coat that i use in every single gel video and i'm actually gonna do some little studs um because in the photo as you guys if you guys remember there was little studs along the cuticle but she had them on every finger and i didn't want to do that much so i'm actually only going to do it on my ring finger but i'm doing a single layer of the top coat and before i cure the nails i'm gonna go and stick the little rhinestones on the little studs whatever you want to call them these are the same ones that i use in my tiktoks and everyone asks me like where i get them from they're from amazon like you just type in rhinestones and they're safe to put on your face and your nails Look at that nail it's so pretty when you put the clear on and the whole nail just comes to life this is these are milk bath nails like if i've ever seen a set of milk bath nails it's these are you dumb look at that so cute okay then i'm taking a lint free nail wipe with some alcohol and i'm just wiping away the little sticky layer well it's not even sticky it's like I'm just cleaning the nails off and then I'm going in with a cuticle oil this is also part of the gelish kit I literally say this in every video <laughs> and the nails are done they look so good oh my gosh I'm so so happy like wow these came out so pretty like the, these are probably the prettiest nails I've ever done like they might be my favorite set actually like wow i really did that like i did that you know that's crazy so if you enjoyed this video then obviously leave a comment down below like this video give it a thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications because there will be new videos two times a week my new upload schedule starting next week is going to be tuesdays and thursdays so look out for that don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.